Welcome back to Two M's in a Podcast. I'm Manny. And I'm Megan. And once again, we want to thank everyone again for this past week and just for the continuing support that we've had from everyone. Um, this has been a great week for us. Yes. And we'll, get in, we'll, you know, we'll let you guys know about that here in a little bit. Yes, it's been an awesome week. Uh, we appreciate all the comments, all the, uh, all the calls, everything that we've had for the past um, video last week, as well as all the videos in between, um, or not in between, before, whatever. Um, but, uh, at, you know, continue to do that. We love the engagement. We love the feedback. We'll keep responding to everyone. Yeah. Um, of course, as always, give us any ideas that you want us to talk about, um, any topics, anything, um, let us know. Yes. Continue to make this more of an open dialogue for everyone as well. Both show. Yep. And, uh, if you didn't read the title of the video, what we're talking about this week is how to um how can you stay organized if you're busy on the go and still find time for your relationship um so or if you're not in a relationship basically how can you stay organized find time for all the things you need to do when you're busy and on the go um and we are here to answer that for you okay (laughs) and answer it (laughs) so obviously the it's it's it, it sounds, you know, very cliche and obvious, but obviously it's like make time. Yeah. Making time is one of the biggest things that we've, that we've surprise. done. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> hidden gem. Something that, uh, the hidden, the hidden sauce and you know, secret sauce to the Krabby Patty formula. <laughs> yeah. So make time. So, yeah. um, as just normal, normal individuals, most people like the main, the number one biggest excuse is, you know, I don't have time or I can't find the time to be able to do this this and that whatever the case may be yeah but um one thing for sure that we've done um obviously with being the new year's and you know the whole new new year new me thing um everyone's a lot more motivated around this time of the year so well i'd like to continue to stay motivated uh, hopefully for the rest of the year yes of course i start off the year great all the time and then it's like (laughs) yeah i mean by like march yeah and and i think for (laughs) us it's just it's funny that you mentioned that because i same same here i think for us now that we're we are busy with a lot of other things like the podcast um we just recently you know got into a lot of other things that we had done in the past and we we hadn't just picked up on as of lately um and obviously we had as many excuses as anybody else why we couldn't do those things but now we're, we're back on track so the biggest thing is just obviously um make time you know we used to have kids work school you know downtime whatever the case may be yeah whatever the reason was um this is what our life pretty much consisted of before we started the podcast and um yeah one of the major things we decided to do and change together is the way we defined quality time Mm -hmm. between the both of us um I, i would say at first you know quality time for the both of us just um and this is even before uh when we had kids it would just be, you know, okay, let's get through the week with whatever uh, responsibilities we had to do, like school, work, whatever, just kind of get through the week. Our normal day during a week would just be coming home, cooking dinner, relaxing, watching Netflix. Um, we may have like a, we, we may say, oh, tonight we're going to have, we're going to eat out or go to a nice restaurant just so we can have some time to ourselves yeah. aside from work and school. Yeah. Um, from what I remember. And um, obviously now our quality time has shifted and kind of been defined to more of putting our time and efforts to creating this great content for you guys. Ha ha. I see what you did there. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, so obviously we enjoy that um, yeah. just as much, if not more than when we used to just go out and have a nice dinner, go out and hang out with friends. Um, we still do do those things, um, but now we're just, you know, kind of tailored and more focused on just things that I think it's keeping us happier yeah yeah so we just kind of shifted our schedule schedule a little bit and um so last week we talked about um we talked about smart goals and if you don't know what that is or what we're talking about or what our smart goal was go back to last week's video it was a really great video about how to set your year up for a successful year um we are firm believers in smart goals and setting them and um so what we did was we acted upon our smart goal. We didn't just set a smart yeah. goal. We decided to actually do it. It's not fake um, news over here. Yeah, no fake news. <laughs> so um, we switched things up and we put ourselves as priority for once. And um, on top, so our smart goal um, was to lose weight by our wedding. And um, we were like, well, you know, 
I work, I'm not going to be able to go to the gym at time. And he's like, you know, I wake up early already for work. So I got to figure out a time when to go to the gym and eating healthy was always, always, we eat pretty healthy already, but like, it's always difficult to like come home after being exhausted and like having to stare in the fridge for 10 minutes and find out what you're going to eat. So, um, we kind of so, switched things up and how we did that. Go ahead. I would say, so yeah. So essentially if you watched last week's episode, the things we said were eat healthy and lose weight and those things we pretty much just, okay, started doing more, uh, rigorously, like yeah. making sure that we, what we are putting in our mouths are just healthier or at the healthiest things that we can physically get possible. Yeah. And then uh, losing weight with uh, Megan was coordinating our schedules together so that we can uh, yeah. get some sort of physical exercise daily. Um, so one of the things was yeah. we changed up our, our daily routine and now we're yeah. waking up early. Yeah. Um, so we, we, yeah, we um, are getting fit and building our relationship at the same time. So our quality time has switched from Netflix and chill to, uh, working out at four o'clock, working in the morning. out and chilling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, that sounds bizarre and yeah. crazy to a Megan lot of people. It. Um, I still, I still don't like it very much, but you know, of course, as the day goes on, I'm like, Oh, I feel good. I already got my workout in for today. Yeah. Um, Power but pose. so, I mean, we kind of thought about it and we, we, we thought about our schedules and about how much time we were wasting at night just kind of sitting around and sure there'd be days that like I had to study for a couple hours or he had late night meetings or was doing whatever at night. Um, so we just shifted that. We're going to bed a little bit earlier and we're waking up, getting our workout in. Um, because I don't know about you. I mean, I, I do know I, I nine o'clock at night, I'm not going to the gym to work out. That's just the way I am. If I'm sitting on the couch already in my pajamas, I'm not going to get up and go to the gym. So instead yeah. I can get in my pajamas and go to bed and um yeah no same i mean same here I, I could go to the gym at night too but i think for me i like working out in the morning because working out for me is yeah, like it a, starts your day off fresh it's like coffee for me i don't drink caffeine water is all i drink oh you're so perfect no so working out for me in the morning <laughs> is like that dose you know that dose of energy yeah. that you need you're exhausted but as soon as you yeah. shower and you're ready to go for for your day yeah your your body's physically exhausted but it, i feel like it does something here mentally where like it Trigger's like, all right, time to wake up, time yeah. to go. You've already been yeah. up for two hours yeah. and you're getting, you're just now getting to work. So you're, I feel like I'm more productive. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, so if you just flowing. look at your schedule of something like losing weight or going to the gym as part of your goals, yes. just look at your schedule. I mean, I know so many people that if they have an hour for lunch, they go out and walk for an hour um, instead of sitting around and looking at their phone. Cause what else are you going to do a lunch break if you're at work? Um, you know, so go out and walk for that's, an hour. That's a, that's a really good uh, hit. Oh, I did that all gym. the time. I know yeah. you did. I know you did. Yeah. That's a good bonus tip because yeah. um, if you don't want to wake up at 4 a.m., that's fine. You know what? Uh, pack something for lunch that you can scarf down really easily because I know some people like to pack the lunches that are, you know, la the previous night's dinners. Mm -hmm. Or if you pack something on the go where you can kind of get up and do your walk as you're eating – um, yeah. that, that, that helps a lot. Um, yeah. and that way you're kind of killing two birds yeah. with one stone. You don't yeah. have to do. So we are still fitting in everything that we want to. So our schedules are still busy. We obviously still work eight hours a day. Um, we have our kids, we get to see our kids. We still sit down for dinner. Cause if you guys haven't followed anything, that's a huge component that I will always keep in my, in my daily routine, um, is sitting down for dinner. We can still do all of those things and our podcast and be able to work out. And, um, we, we gobbled up all the time that we had, but when you really break down your schedule yeah. to minute by minute, again, watch last week's episode. Cause I can bring reference a bunch of things, but if you take that calendar and you break down every second that you have, I guarantee you, you'll find at least 30 minutes to an hour out of your day that you're like, Oh, I am just sitting around for that time. So, um, whether that's going to the gym, whether that's, you want to, um, you know, pick up a new hobby, do, you know, drive a car, you know, whatever. I don't know. Um, uh, anytime that's, that's the time that you're able yeah, to definitely it make use of every, yeah, every minute, every yeah. second, because there are a lot of things that I know we were putting off just because there were smaller tasks into like random spots in a day. But now if you're just condense all those things into like, Oh, I'm going to do that here. I'm going to do that here. Then it opens up a lot more time instead of like you having 30 minutes of free time. Well, instead of you doing these other couple uh, smaller things that you were going to do later in the day, yeah. trying to fit them in, in the 
early morning as soon as you wake up or or or, or at night before you go to sleep mm-hmm. that way you have a bigger chunk of time that you have available now f- uh, of free time yeah because that is i feel like it's better to have an hour than like six 10 minute intervals throughout your day of free time right in my opinion yeah i mean of course everyone wants one hour in a chunk but that might happen to people that it's only six ten hour sent six ten minute chunks and that that, yeah you could make that work too i'm just saying just look at your schedule because there there may be opportunity to to improve there where like you can do these things down here and now you do get that hour of chunk or yeah. 30 minutes or whatever yeah. hour you can squeeze out of your day because squeeze I know, like a lemon. Yeah, because I know that's what I was doing. It's like, I'm like, oh, I can't work out. I got to do this. But it took that it's 30 minutes and it's in the middle of my day. So it's it's kind of like I would have 20 minutes here, and like 20 minutes here. So yeah, it's like, in reality, I was just procrastinating working out and I really just uh, wish I didn't have to do all those things. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that too. But yeah, it's, it's also good to look at your schedule and break it down. It's almost yeah. like a do an audit of your time same as you would like do an audit of your finances yeah yeah um you know and then another time saving tip something to um do we talked about last week was meal planning we can kind of get into a little bit more detail about what we do as meal planners um again this is not meal prepping we're not spending all day sunday cooking up vegetables yeah Um, but before you get into that i just want to hit on one last point on that so with all of that being said in terms of the time management, so obviously now that we're waking up earlier and do, you know working out and doing all those things, we're not necessarily sacrificing, but there is something else that has to change later in the day, right? Like we can't go to sleep at midnight or 1 a.m. Oh, every day. Yeah. Like I know some people do still and just because they're up on their phones or they can't fall asleep. We have to get to sleep way earlier now. Because obviously we need to make sure that our bodies are recuperating enough every night to be able to wake up that early. Because if you're getting three hours of sleep and you're trying to wake up early, then it's obviously it's actually hurting you more than anything. So so it's it's just one thing I wanted to mention. Yeah, I mean, you can't be healthy both physically and mentally with no sleep. Right. Um, But it's just one of those things like I know we only discuss on. Oh, yeah, we're getting up earlier. That doesn't mean we're going as we're still yeah. going to sleep. We had yeah. to change. Yeah, we had to change and shift. That's really all we did. We still had, right. No, still I mean, work. I mentioned that a little bit, I guess, because we were saying we were sitting around at night watching TV, doing nothing, though. Instead of doing that, we went to bed and woke up early and shifted yeah. our day yeah. just to start well, early. Like I mentioned it, then never mind. <laughs> but yeah, no, get into no, get into I, the I, nutrition I, part. Of, yeah, yeah. Get into so we 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 talked about um we talked about nutrition last week. We talked about meal planning. And um, again, meal planning is not real prepping. Sorry, I scratched you. Um, and, uh, Anytime, s- baby. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> you are so weird. Hi, <laughs> Dios okay. mio. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty... Anyway, so we're not spending all day Sunday. We're not prepping food, um, cooking vegetables. We're not cooking our we lunches for could. the week. Um, I wish yeah, we could. Again, it just didn't it, it didn't fit in our schedule. We decided yeah. to shift. We, we decided to use that time in other ways. Um, so the four hours that we would have used on Sunday, we use a little bit day by day. Um, and so we meal plan. So on Sundays, I, um, you know, Manuel and I kind of go and sit down and be like, what do we want for dinner? And um, typically it's me deciding because. Um, Megan's the chef of the house. I, yeah. Yeah. But I, <laughs> I, I also, I love to cook. I love coming up with random recipes or I'll go online and I'll look at recipes and then I'll be like, all right, how can I flip this and make it my own? Um, I, I find it cooking like art. It's like, yeah. ha look what I did today. Um, so, um, I, yeah. And I wasn't saying that I f- do the meals. Like I wasn't be like, Ugh, most of the time it's me. It's like, no, most, most of the time it's me. I'm, I'm doing that. Yes. Shit. Good for Megan. Most <laughs> of the time it's Megan. But no, no. no but and so we, we sit down we're like, all right, what do we want? And then we choose meals 
uh, typically we do Monday through Friday. We don't really yep. pick the weekends because the weekends we're well, we have more time on the depends. weekends. Like, yeah, right? we, we, we we're not working eight hours a day, so we yeah, can yeah. we can literally plan the meal that we're gonna have for dinner in the morning and then figure out how to get to that. Yeah, you can't yeah. in the middle. You can't do that when you're at work. No, no. I mean, I guess I could, but then you got to grocery shop and do all that stuff. So, eh. so we plan all of our meals Monday through Friday. Um, we also plan lunches around. Typically, it's just leftovers from the night before, unless. Um, I know that I'm not going to make a big vat of something. Then I kind of figure out what I'm going to have my mother-in-law feed our kids for lunch. Um, cause obviously we're not home and we just pack our lunches, whatever. Yeah. Is there. That, that's another thing. Bonus tip. Pack your oh, lunches, right? So yeah. saves, saves you money and money time and the t- it helps, like you can physically yeah. control what you're going to eat when you're yeah. out. And yeah. I did this too a lot. Um, when we didn't pack our lunches, I would, yeah, Mandy I, would call me and be like, Hey, uh, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know. I'm at work. He's like, yeah, well, I'm going to go to McDonald's and get some lunch. <laughs> well, it wasn't even that. I actually was eating pretty good. It's just it wasn't that healthy. Like I was yeah. eating cooked me- meals. But yeah. it, and then, A, they're super expensive. Like that. that's every time I eat lunch at work and it's not uh, something that Megan's made or something that, like I brought from home. I always in my mind, I'm like, man, I shouldn't be doing this. This is costing me like. Four times what my lunch. I could wouldn't have been even today. want to break down how much money we have we have spent previously. Like eating oh, yeah. lunch out. Oh yeah, dumb. I, I wouldn't dumb. want to look at that. Yeah, it's dumb. Um, because I know it's way too much. I get it every now and then, like on, on the weekend, once a week. Yeah. yeah if you're gonna, if you're gonna do that, do it once a week. Make pick your yeah. day, Sunday, Saturday. That way, you get that out of your system. That if you can eat at your favorite restaurant, pick yeah. a new one. Yeah. We do that too sometimes. Yeah. You know, um, but it's one of those like if you do it every day, it adds up mm-hmm, quickly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I don't. Yeah. yeah. So. So don't break down that budget. Just know that you're probably spending way too much. Just pack your lunch and meal plan. And um, so we we go grocery shopping for and get exactly what we need. And um, then we cook um, everything. So this past week, um, I made chickpea masala. Um, I, I don't actually know if I'm saying that right. I should probably look that up. But yeah. um, it's um, it's an Indian dish. It was delicious. Yeah, um, I forgot about that dish, but I that was good. Literally, I had two plates of that. Thinking about it now, I think my mouth is still watering. So I made this chickpea masala, and I had I pickled my own onions, and then I made like a Shout cucumber. Shout out to Brian and Chrissy. Yeah, thank you, Brian and Christy, because now I go in, I look in the fridge, I open it, and I go shake, 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 and I just put it back. And just I just because. I look at them because they're beautiful. Just because I pickled she, my own onions. Yeah, <laughs> peasants don't pickle their own onions. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but it's funny because Megan literally will open it and like, and put it back in, and it's like, it's, I guess that's the thing you do when you make your own pickled onions. Hey, your own pickled onions. If you have ever pickled anything, not necessarily pickled onions, I'd like to know. Do you go in and stare at stare at it in your fridge and be like, "Wow, I made that," or or and or do you go in, give it a little shake? And put it back, put it back. <laughs> because I want to know because because I she thinks do. that is only going to pickle it faster. Probably it does pickle it faster. I, mean, I maybe, watched it. it, it no, maybe I'm dying. I, I don't know. It, I don't know. It's not. I shook it up and I was like, yeah, it's beautiful. It's it, pink. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah. So she made that. Yeah. Chickpea masala with like a Mediterranean salad and some pickled onions. And then I made black bean enchiladas, which Ooh, were yeah. um, again, we eat mostly like a. We eat a Mediterranean diet, which is really all whole foods and some fish. Um, Mediterranean diets, I believe, um, have like leeway for like chicken and red meat. And um, Mm -hmm. I obviously don't eat any meat. And while we eat it every now and then, we don't we rarely eat red meat. For For me, it's like I splurge on the weekends. Right. That's the thing. Like I don't Um, during the week. We eat what Megan makes on the weekends. If we're out, she'll buy whatever. If like we're out and we're going to have lunch dinner out out somewhere she'll get whatever she wants we'll get whatever the kids wants i'll get whatever i want yeah well yeah you got steak this past weekend like um what was it carne asada what was in your quesadilla oh yeah yeah no yeah that's what yeah yeah, when you you bit into it i was like oh you got steak yeah i I was gonna get shrimp but i feel like i always get shrimp there so i was like hey i'll get steak because i don't ever get it yeah 
Okay, anyway, so um, so we made um, enchiladas, and w- the reason why I brought up the vegetarian diet is because it wasn't, you know, chicken or pork enchiladas. It was black bean enchiladas um, with, like, a jalapeno cream sauce. Um, Ooh, yeah, I made I chili because it snowed at the beginning of the year, and who doesn't love chili when it's cold? Um, I ended up making homemade bread that day, too. I made bread for the first time in my life. <laughs> and um, Megan needs some pointers. Kind of one. a fail. It was definitely a fail. It didn't taste bad. But I just don't think I got the right consistency. Yeah, there's definitely a trick thick. that you were missing there. Yeah, just, yeah, I missed something. Uh, so everything was if you right have any except for like tips. Let me know. Yeah, everything. I, in my opinion, I, everything was right the way you did it. There's just like that one trick where it's like, oh, you have to like, yeah, do yeah. this, and then they like, <laughs> bl- like you know, like you have to do something. Yeah, like, no, I think they said that like I had to like maybe keep kneading. Yeah, it. The there's thing always is, some I had a weird hand trick. mixer. It's not like the big fancy mixer, so yeah. that would have been going just going but instead i'm like hand mixing it and it was like yeah but you know horrible. what i'm talking about there's always that weird like yeah. trick yeah, when it comes like, to right, certain you foods slap it the dough. yeah yeah you gotta do something and <laughs> then throw boom. it down roll it yeah Th- then it looks perfect. like the, the bread you buy at the grocery store <laughs> yeah it didn't look like the bread that we buy it was still good store, yeah, but it, it was good yeah it, it, was, was it tasted good, good. Yeah. it just was weird like consistency you're like yeah, it was, it was just harder more than anything. Yeah. But yeah, so we made that. And then we made sweet Thai chili salmon uh, Ooh, with some I forgot vegetables. That. That, I forgot about that too. I definitely need to make that again. Um, yeah, all of these meals we need to make again. I, yeah. The only reason I'm, I'm saying that, I mean, they were good. But I'm remembering because I usually when we sit down at the table, Megan's uh, eating her food. And then she's in between eating her food, she's feeding Zyla. And for me, in between of me eating, I'm feeding Joao, and I can. When it's easier to feed Joao these last couple of meals, like usually it's like a little bit of a fight, and he's like yeah. eating it, and then it's like a little bit of a fight, and he's like eating it. These, I think he was just like, <laughs> he was <laughs> like, waiting, like, for like it. just waiting to eat, you know. <laughs> so I, I remember it being easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joao, Joao's been doing really good, and maybe yeah. you know what? That's a good kind of correlation. Like it must just be because we're making really good food, like just good healthy food too. But yeah. You know, the boy still likes chicken tenders from Burger King. So he, yeah. he might just be also just a three year old that one day he wants to eat. And one day he doesn't. Yeah. But um, we made uh, shrimp tacos. I also made kind of like a variation of a jalapeno cream sauce. And then um, tonight we made seared ahi tuna steaks with um, cauliflower and carrot puree. And it was delicious. All it was of like these eating meals a steak, were delicious. Actually. Yeah. It was like eating a steak. Yeah, it, they, it's a very thick tuna. I, what, yeah. I, I don't think I actually realized how no, it was good. thick and um, chewy, but not in a weird way. It's mm-hmm. like a good consistency it was the great. tuna is. It was um, literally like nothing about it. I was like eating a steak, but yeah. it was just Yeah, it was, it was phenomenal. Um, but so um, anyway, the, you know, I, I mentioned the the – all the meals that we made because they seem so extravagant and like amazing. And you know, and they are. how do you have the time to do all this? And, <laughs> and yes, they are, they are extravagant. Five star and restaurant they quality. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Come to Megan and Manny's yeah. five star quality food and Soon a enough. five star company. Rated from Yelp. We'll just create a Yelp and have everyone. We rate just us five actually star. just, we'll be the, the only two reviews ourselves. Us. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so these are really awesome meals and, um, again, they're vegetarian, but it, it, you don't have, you could be a meat eater and eat these. They're still really good. And they only took me about 30 minutes. I think one of them might've taken me 45 minutes and that could just be me, you know, procrastinating more than anything like lollygagging, doing whatever and hanging out. You know, I get home, I see the kids and things like that, but 30 to 45 minutes and you have a very good, healthy, whole meal, um, for dinner and that's what meal planning did for us and that's what um, yeah, you, grocery you are, shopping yeah. for exactly what we want I think it's totally reasonable to expect to have dinner ready in 30 minutes and sit yeah, down to a really good the meal meals that we're eating, not sure. a frozen not something frozen nothing against frozen food it's very easy I understand convenient. that but this is all it is convenient yeah yep. um, but it is convenient you, you pop it in the oven you go do something else um, but you know, if you if you're looking for a whole alternative, party an alternative food to that, yeah, for th- under thirty minutes, um, what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and I I am um, I actually had a couple people that wanted the recipes for some of the things that I made already, and um, I can make a, an additional video like a, a season 
season two episode what are, what even episode are we on four oh my gosh season season is two episode four is the last um, yes four a and um i'll uh i'll post some recipes yeah we can the, even do a, a video of just you doing maybe one recipe yeah. so that people can see yeah super uh, easy kind of your super your easy stuff and um yeah exactly and um of course if you don't follow us on instagram follow us on instagram i can link the we have it already linked below and i'll link it on the on the screen right here yep. um i post what we have for dinner every single night and um and you can see the finished product i don't i don't film myself making it i probably should one of these days like manny said yeah I think we'll do we'll idea. do one i mean we'll um, do we'll, we'll find like a good yeah. meal we'll do one yeah. we'll do we'll do two videos we'll do like one super Ooh, not one but two we'll do one super healthy meal and then we'll do like our favorite meal we'll make arepas and that way you can see we're, we're not just what yeah. peaches and flowers we oh, also yeah. like eating i, I mean, like arepas we, and bread yeah what exactly like what's that one that one video it is like what are you gonna do oh uh, just eating desserts, getting all fat and sassy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what she says. Yeah, I mean, it's we like good food. I mean, it's yes. just one of those like we try and limit. But this those. is good food. That's like the main thing. Is it's like this is good, well, well, delicious yes, yes, food, yes. and then it's healthy, and yeah. it's like well, it's that's a what I meant. They're very good food. Yeah, obviously. I knew and what then you meant. I knew you were insane. Was, it's was, bad. Yeah, the yeah. added bonus is that they're super healthy. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, putting fuel back in our bodies with all the exercise that we're starting to you yeah. know, get into. Yeah. And, and then, we do this so we can kind of splurge on the weekends. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> that, that's like a good habit. We don't, and we don't necessarily do that all weekend, yeah. right? We might go on like a month, just super health bender, but it's, then your body starts craving some, something, yeah. it needs like, something bad, chocolate. you know, it needs to, it needs to balance all the good. I've been searching. <laughs> so you might day. have like one weekend and you're like, screw it. We're going to go. You. Yeah. I want to buy all your box of chocolates. Yeah, so you might have like one weekend where where you buy that, you eat chocolates, you just and but then you get back to it, you know. You don't let that like snowball yeah. into like something worse. You just all right, that was my day, back to yeah. it, let's get going. And then you have so you're you're balancing six days of really good yeah. eating with one bad. Yeah. Like that's not gonna kill you, you know. Yeah. It's if you do the opposite, right? If you try yeah. and say I'm eating one one good meal a week and and you're trying to tell everyone you're healthy. Yeah. Man, yeah, it's debatable. Yeah. That's also a good point. Um, like what you said kind of sparked my memory of where accountability partners really. Come oh, yeah, into. for sure. It's like you and I are great accountability partners where it's like, um, you know, we do all that. And we if we happen to splurge or, eat, you know, do something one day, um, then we we'll wake up the next day, four o'clock in the morning. Like, yeah. all right, well, we 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 did our we did our thing and. Um, let's get back to our, our schedule because we have goals that we want to meet and um, we have very busy schedules and we want to stay organized and stay on time and do all the things that we want to get done so we can have time to splurge. and, and um, do It's only that much that better too do. when you're like six days in of, or two weeks in, three weeks in of really, really uh, eating really good food, staying consistent with your workouts. When you go and have that tub of ice cream, you're like, man, I deserve this. Tub. <laughs> Yeah, that's you know, or whatever it yeah. is, like I mean, whatever it is, your vices. It's just like, man, I deserve a freaking goddamn Reese's today. Yeah. Like I, I, I worked for this. Like it's, you know, it, I at least that's how I see it. When I'm like, man, this is, good. and I mean, to me, it's like this is gonna taste really good. I haven't had one of these in however long, and I've been doing really good uh, for my body with all the eating and working out and just the stress free living that you've been, you know, that we've been kind of taken upon for the past week um well yeah and we're hoping to kind of continue that through yeah. into the summertime and then all the way through into the wedding and just you know making a little small little changes to hopefully mm -hmm. keep it as a lifestyle change yeah 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 and then you've been kind of doing some other things too yeah uh, yeah uh, so, apart from working out obviously right, and exactly so like this is this is handsome <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you <laughs> Anybody out there need a handsome man? Oh my I'm gosh! Anyway, so yeah, so um, so this 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 plays actually plays uh, hand in hand with the time make time thing, right? So, uh, just kind of been introducing uh, our reading hobby. I've been telling Megan like, hey, I've been uh, in my mind like I've been slowly kind of amping myself up into. I've been wanting to read more at the end of the night, like ten to like twenty minutes a night, um, which is like recommended. It's really simple. You can squeeze that into any schedule. No excuses why I'm not doing it. I'm still ha I'm still technically not doing that hobby, 
right? Like physically reading a book, which is what I want to do, what I want to get to. But um, one thing that I've seen, I think, I, I mean, this is how weird freaking technology is now is you say one thing and then your freaking phone like just knows everything. Hey, so Manuel. It, yeah. You look, look at this and then like introduce me we to some We think you can read a book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... So it, it like brought me through this whole rabbit hole, looked into the app. I literally pay like $40 for a year for an app. So, and it, you can read it. It's like cliff notes for books. So you don't necessarily get the whole book, but I think you can get the whole book. But if, if you're just on the go, you can get the cliff notes. Mm-hmm. And, um, so yeah, so yeah. So essentially I, on my commutes from, from home to work and from work to home, I just pop these things in my audio and, um, I'm just kind of like learning and kind of, you know, sharpening the sword, you know, pretty much my, my brain. Yeah. For like things to like, and, and the funny thing is that's all going to translate to the podcast. I'm yeah. only getting tips like business tips, creative, creative tips, like just certain things that I, you know, that I've had in the back of my mind that I'm more like, uh, I don't know the word, but I'm more enticed to like using now with, the things that we have going on. It's like, Hey, I learned something today or Hey, let me try this out. This is something that I thought, you know, I gathered from when I was coming home Yeah. and if it worked, it worked if it didn't, but at least it's like me trying, it's making me, I, I think it's yeah. making me more creative is what, what I'm trying to get. I, I mean, get reading, so, whether it's physically reading or listening to an audiobook, everyone knows what the, the benefits of reading can do to everyone. I mean, we learned that from day one, but well, yeah, exactly. I, I learned, I learned reading literally so much later in my life. It was literally like in the middle of college that yeah. like reading is like, it's not just about reading and, and, and like reading, uh, retaining what you need to retain to pass a test. No, it's like reading it just, it works out your brain muscle, right? Mm-hmm. We can do biceps, triceps, it works out your arm muscles. Your brain is the biggest muscle. So if you keep this in shape, I just imagine my brain like, yeah, that's pretty, no, that's, those are the things I see. That's <laughs> what's funny is like when it, when a, uh, an advertising for reading or whatever, that's like the You're first like, thing they put, it's a brain muscles. with lifting weight. Cause it is, it is. It's a, yeah. It's a brain with muscles and it's just funny. But if you think of it that way, then it, it's, that that's another way you can work yeah. out. Even if you can't get into the gym, well, there you go. Get reading and work out your brain muscle at least. Yeah. Um, you'll be intelligent. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll take that anytime. It, exactly. Um, exactly. So, um, and then obviously the biggest thing with that is, I mean, I could have been, I could be, it's kind of hard to do things in the car as it is, but if I start introducing that like later at night, I won't sit on my phone right before I go to bed. I'll probably get a better night's sleep, which I don't necessarily need, but for those people who may have, trouble going to bed reading a book might help you work if you work out your brain it has to be tired it needs to get re- reju- rejuvenated manny sleeps in about five seconds and no he does not have uh yeah i don't have uh, any problems sleep honestly. apnea or anything like that he just literally i'm like <laughs> yeah once again uh if you want to pick up reading you can do it during your lunch break yeah once again i'm sure there is a lot of things that I know I, I considered useless during my, my regular day, which it would be if I had any free time, like five, 10 minutes, I'd sit on my phone, wait for whatever the next thing was, yeah. whether it is waiting for Megan to get ready so that we can go out. Yeah. She takes a little bit longer than me to get ready. Obviously you see this hair. Yeah. So uh, that's, that's five, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever that, whatever <laughs> it is. Well, there you go. Instead of me sitting there, I could yeah. like read, five, 10 minutes of the book. Okay. You ready to go? Boom. Close it. Go get back to it later. Yeah. Um, things like that is, yeah. is very, um, important to note that you can definitely make time for that. Yeah. And, and when you, what you're doing is you're replacing a good habit with, I wouldn't say a bad habit, but just a habit that it's probably not as useful or effective yeah. or per, Yeah, whether you're replacing a bad habit or just something that you yeah, trying, tr- trying something new, do, getting back to something yeah. that you used to do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, you have a good point of, uh, sitting on your phone for five, 10 minutes. That's, that's, that's a if chapter. you add that up. Yeah. yeah. If you add that up throughout the day, I'm sure you can find some time. So, um, again, going back to the basics, that's not a, that's not a Harry Potter chapter, but that might be just a regular, like, you know, just a regular peasant chapter. You know, I don't read that fast. So just, <laughs> you're not, yeah. I'm not the Harry Potter. Like I'm not, no, no, no. I'm talking about like a regular 10 page books. chapter, you know, <laughs> maybe 15. You got a baby steps. Yeah. Baby yeah, steps. Exactly. You're getting there. But, um, it, it, it is a good point, you know, getting down to the nitty gritty and going back to 
uh, just time 101, getting a calendar, setting up your schedule, seeing where you're wasting your time or where you think that you could be um, improving. I- improving and yeah. redirecting um, the use of your time. Um, I'm not reading right now or I don't, I don't, I don't read. I don't um, uh, listen to audiobooks or anything like that. I know Manny's been trying to get me into it because then we can have like a book club together. Yeah, um, pretty much. I mean, it's, that's another thing, right? This is to me. If Megan were to pick that up, I'm like pushing her. Hey, do it. Read, read this. Read yeah. this with me. So then that way we're, we have that to discuss at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, it's just something uh, I do though. If I have a like right now, I have a long commute. Is that I listen to Pimsleur. Um, I haven't actually in a little bit, but I was when I was driving to Winchester and, um, I listened to Pimsleur and I learn my, I perfect my Espanol s- skills. Good. But, That's fine too. Um, Cause I mean, we can discuss yeah, that a lot too. I mean, music is really awesome and great. And some days I just want to blast music and yeah. pump myself great, up. Yeah. And then other times I, I need either Pimsleur or I study on the way to school. Um, that's, I listen to powerpoints and and podcasts and th- things like that so just redirecting your time and using it for for other things sometimes um, you need that jam session for sure but sometimes you need that jam session pulling up to the parking lot and i'm like pumped ready to go and then it's like you know yeah i was just listening to some crazy song and i pull up and i'm talking to my patients like hello how are you like anything you need i'm here for you and yeah. i was just like <laughs> i was just listening <laughs> to walk a flock of flame <laughs> Exactly. Bow, bow. <laughs> I am a good provider though, but that is funny. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, and, and kind of backtracking and what, so remember our question was, is how to get organized when you're busy and still make time, um, how to get organized to make the time to, um, have, gosh, I really messed that one up. Yeah. I, it's, um, it's pretty much, well, I think uh, the question was a little bit too wordy. I was saying it too wordy. It's just. Yeah. How to make time for yourself, for your relationship, yeah, as a busy if you're in a relationship, yeah. when you are busy. Yeah. So organizing all of that, organizing your time when you're busy and being able to find more time. Yeah. Um, so, you know, with that question in mind and in terms of uh, in a relationship and yeah, kind of relating it that, back to more of yeah, us in particular, right? Everything that we discussed Some, today. Yeah. Everything we discussed up until now, it's been for just any individual who's just really busy on the go. Yeah. These are things you can do that will work just, just yeah. as well, whether you're in a relationship or not. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 We, yeah. Obviously it's what we do in our relationship, what works with, with us, with me, with him and our schedules and our families and, and things like that. But yeah, I definitely do think it could work with everyone. Um, even if it's not the exact example, just use that as an example and run with it. Yep. Um, switch things up and, and do that. And I think that you would be able to find that you do actually have quite a bit of time throughout your day. Um, and, you know, just stop making excuses for yourself. If you want to do something, just get up and do it. And we did that for a very long time. We talked about that in podcast one, two, and three or whatever. And we well, yeah, that's how we started the made podcast. Excuses right? for a long time. Yeah. We don't have time for a podcast. You're working. I'm yeah. in school. We have two kids. We can't do that. All that and it pretty, was like, all you know what? Let's thinking, just do it. Thinking about that now, all that was is just an excuse so that we could sit on the couch and watch a movie. Yeah, because that's, that's what we would be doing, yeah. right? And yeah. except now we, like yeah. I said before, or like how we said before, we redefined what we thought, yep. what we, how qual- quality time is spent, what quality time is to us in our heads. Yeah. And I mean, I enjoy doing this way more because once we get finished with the recording for today or whenever, then we go and talk about it. We go and yeah. discuss it. We do our other back behind the scene things. Yeah. So we're consistently having a, a discussion, a discord about yeah. that, and and it's it's to me it's it's way. It just feels more productive. I don't know. I feel way better doing that than... Well, yeah. I mean, we are being productive. I mean, this is a hobby, so it's not necessarily like... um You know, it's not bettering our jobs or anything like that. And and that's why a lot of people think that's what defines productive. But this is a hobby that we really wanted to get to. And so podcasting, getting fit and healthy, Mm -hmm. um, and and those things. So we define what quality time is, and we've been able to start a podcast. We're getting... Uh, healthy both physically and mentally and um, now we're more motiva- motivated um, to to get all that get all that shit done yeah yeah because I mean now you, we've essentially <laughs> just overloaded our plates with crap that we need to do now so it's yeah. 
I but think, we thought we were busy before. That's well, the thing. yeah, it's exactly. Like, so we yeah. were really busy before, and and I, I know everyone watching this probably is busy on the go. So that's why we made this podcast because if you're like us and you thought you were really busy, you likely are. You absolutely are. We know you are because we were that. Well, I, and then we took would, it for a second. I'd have to play like, devil's advocate. There is you probably aren't because like we weren't right, and now now we are. But that's we, what I'm saying. But yeah. it, at that time, we thought that. We were yeah, really busy yeah. because we had a lot okay, of things yeah, no, to do. So yeah, we I agree did. with you. And then, we yeah. completed all those things. So yeah. it's not like we were like overwhelmed and had so much to do. So yes, we were busy. And then we took a step back and we're like, what are we doing? And then it's like when you actually like kind of yeah, spell when, things out, it's like, no, we actually do have a couple free times. So, you know, uh, yeah, we of can course, make a lot of work. That's you, yeah, you a long it. rant of. Yeah, you can do a lot more with your examples. time. Just think about that. Um, yeah. Obviously, it's it's up to everyone to make their own decisions. We're just yeah. we just figured we'd we'd relate it back to kind of yeah. how we did Try it, and how we started. Some value. Yeah. Um, so. Obviously, again, in in the comments, let us know if you guys uh, how, if it, what you guys think about that. Um, yeah. If there's something that um, you guys are doing, what you guys would like to change, mm -hmm, what you guys mm -hmm. maybe have changed already in the new any, years. Yeah. Any um, organization tips? Any time saving tips? Yeah. Any uh, any of that. Just kind anything. of you know keep the the, the discussion going, seeing mm -hmm. how what has you know what 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 you can relate to the, the things that we are saying, because I think I think it'd be nice to to hear from you guys for sure. Um, I mean, for those who have been already who have who have been, thank you. Continue to do that, and then those who those who haven't been, who are a little scared to type a comment down, don't worry, we're we're not going to bite. Maybe. 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 You see these teeth? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to look at my teeth. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so, and then obviously <coughs> one, one thing that we want to make sure that we hit on after getting into all of this is, yeah. um, lastly, we are by no means perfect, right? So, a lot of these things make it seem like, oh, man, they're doing all like, these things. Wow, By so no much. means, we're not perfect whatsoever. Some days um, we won't record on the day that we're supposed to record. Like, whatever. We should, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll I mean, get so, up at 4 a.m. Yep. Yeah, sometimes Sweet. hit that snooze button. Yep. Um, I mean, that stuff just happens. It's part yeah. of just, you know, life. There's only so, exactly. Sometimes only, you just are overwhelmed or you have too much on your plate and you just let it Yeah, ride there's only and, so much you can take on yeah. into, as a human being. That sometimes it's okay to freaking hit that. Or dump. sometimes you're just like, nah, I want to play some video games. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, it's just, just knowing that it is. We live in this kind of society now where, um, there's a lot of social media out there. Yeah. There's a lot of like fast pace. I mean, the, the biggest example is like Amazon, right? Uh, Prime yeah. isn't even the thing anymore. Like now, if you live in an affluent city, you can literally hit buy and it could be there in like hours. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not it. Prime yeah. is. So yeah, it's everything's just, now. We down live now, in so. that society now, yeah. which is OK. That's all. That's awesome that we live in that society. You see the, Instagram models and all these people that are like really perfect and they look like they have their life together and yeah. they probably and some hit the might, snooze button. Some button. of them might. Some of them don't. Who knows? But we just want to tell you guys that we, we hit the yeah, snooze button. Yes. Yeah, so we do all that, too. And yeah. we, we're just trying to do it, obviously, the least amount of times. Yeah. And get better and strive, get that be one percent better every yeah. day. But and this uh, this podcast is kind of like our, uh, you know, like we're good accountability partners. But yeah. then this is a good accountability partner for us, like yeah. being able to constantly talk about this and like give tips to um, whoever's listening. Um, yep. It's like, hey, you know what? We we should maybe continue doing what we're doing. So well, yeah, anyway, yeah. We appreciate you guys watching because that keeps us accountable and. Um, you know, we, we want to, it is help okay you. to relax yeah. is the biggest thing yeah. is don't, don't, there's a lot of external factors from society that are pressuring you to be yeah. like the perfect person. Yeah. It's, it, it, there's no such thing as perfect. <laughs> it's all a myth. It's fake, fake news. That yeah. is fake news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's okay. But just obviously any, any extreme of that, then it's like, all right, that's why we're talking about what we just talked yeah. about. Right. You can't. You can't be like, oh, it's okay to relax all the time because it's not, you know, but it's yeah. not okay to be perfect all the time either because it, it's not. It's, you got to find yeah. a good, happy medium. Um, but, yeah, so, again, um, this is pretty much it for this week's episode. Yeah. Um, once again, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Um, we expect you guys to be here next week. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, we want to talk to you guys. <laughs> we will be here. <laughs> 
But again, yeah, please. Yeah, we'll be here no matter what. Yeah, we're going to be here. <laughs> we'll just keep on talking. <laughs> yeah, we need you guys. Please be here next week. But no, um, so obviously if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Yes. Yeah, keep commenting. Keep staying yeah. engaged, engaging with Sharing us. Sharing our stuff yeah, and, and keep, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that you guys may have in terms of suggestions, um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yep. Turn on the notification buttons. Yep. Yep. That way, you know, it's. That way it'll, it'll, it'll seem more organic. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, if you, um, you know, obviously we, we do this every week. We talk about our merchandise. Um, if you want to join the two M's in a podcast family, uh, stop by our merch website. We'll link it below. Um, pick up a shirt, a hoodie, a cup, a mug, a sticker. Um, a, a, they're comfortable. They're awesome. Um, yep. And then, of course, if you if you don't want to buy anything, that's totally okay. Um, we're just Get advertising the merch. it anyway. <laughs> We'd love for you guys to have, um, and have then, the merch. And then tag us in a post or something. We'd yes. like to see people with yes. it. That'd yeah, be pretty cool. Yeah. It, um, yeah. If you guys ever buy anything, do tag us. Let's start us, the two M's in a podcast pandemic. Oh. And we start spreading. Like spreading spread, it. Yes. <laughs> spreading around. What are you saying? <laughs> spread it. Share. Share. Spread it like COVID. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And then, of course, if you can't buy anything, that's totally okay. We appreciate um, if you guys just subscribe, uh, comment, give us feedback. Yep, keep engaging with us. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Um, as long as you stay engaged with us, we, we appreciate that so much. You guys are, are um, whether you buy things or not, you're the two M's in a podcast family, and we're, we're grateful for that. Um, you know, so with that. Yep. With that said, this is Two M's on a Podcast. I'm Manny. And I'm Megan. And you guys have a good rest of your week. Woohoo!